your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good Wednesday evening, everybody, and happy almost autumn. We're almost to the equinox, which will be tomorrow morning, Thursday morning at 9.21 a.m. This is our new Sky Blog 3, talking about matters of astronomical interest and seeing what's going on out across parts of the Mid-South skies that you could be taking a look at into the course of the evening tonight and into tomorrow. Not a lot going on tonight, unfortunately. That's what happens at this time of the year. Most of the most interesting stuff happens bright and early in the morning hours, and we're talking very bright bright and early. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. We're almost there in the our orbit around the sun. Tomorrow is the equinox, equal day and equal night, as the Latin infers. And we're going to be hitting that at about 921 Memphis or Mid-South time. And that means we're out of summer and into a brand new season. So less than about 24 hours to go, as according to archaeoastronomy.com. If you'd like to follow along on the countdown to the next season, which will be wintertime, you can do that here. Also a great place to check and see how much time is left until other seasons out there, a very good website with a lot of other interesting stuff, including earthsky.org if you'd like to follow along with more details about astronomy and all kinds of neat stuff going on. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take a complete look at another hoax that you do not need to be paying attention to except to debunk it. Just like the Mars will be as big as the full moon in the skies, that ain't going to happen. We'll talk more about that in just a little while. No satellites of interest of any brightness flying over tonight. Naked eye spotting of satellites, very good thing to try, especially with your kids, but tonight there's just not that much going on. Two of them early tomorrow morning. The first one is going to be the International Space Station. That one will be appearing in the northern skies and heading to the northeast, very close to the horizon, early in the morning hours, about 5 o'clock and afterwards, so hopefully some clearer skies out there for you for that. The second one will be the OTV space plane, or the X-37B unmanned piece of new technology that has been orbiting the Earth for a while, and occasionally catches a glint of the sun and makes it really bright, and that'll be happening in the 5 o'clock hour, and if you'd like to find out more about this, you can punch in your location at heavens-above.com so you can find out more about where and when to look for this one. Again, that's the space plane. The ISS will be flying over a little bit earlier. There will be an iridium flare tomorrow night, not tonight, but tomorrow night as seen from the southern skies. You'd like to find out where and when on that. Head to heavens-above.com, click on your location, input your location, and find out more about where to look for that. It's a communications network, the iridium network was a part of a now bankrupt company that left their satellites in orbit and covered with solar panels. They reflect the beams of light at various points in time and can be seen brilliantly for just a few seconds. They fade in, they get really bright, and they fade back out again. So that's what you will be seeing tomorrow night. Check out when and where by programming your location and your time zone in at heavens-above.com. Just when you thought we didn't need to do any more debunking, well, this happens again. Not only are people saying that we're going to have Mars as big as the full moon, which would never happen and is not going to be happening at all, ever, period, end of sentence. There I said it. I'm glad that I did. There's another rumor going around that says we're going to have two full moons when the next full moon occurs in about another three weeks or so. That This one will be a, a mirage of some sort or maybe a miracle will happen. We'll have actually two moons orbiting the Earth. This will not happen. So in case you're wondering anything about that, just make certain you check it out before you start passing it along on the internet. A lot of these things are just absolute hoaxes. Also a rumor that we're going to be hit by an asteroid on the 23rd of September, a couple of days from now. No truth to that rumor, at least as far as we know. Nothing has been discovered that is going to be crossing the Earth's orbit, so good news on that. But once again, this particular rumor, quit spreading it around, and that will save us a lot of time of having to debunk stuff that we know is not already Already true, so there will be no double moon in the sky anytime soon, or for that matter, ever. So, just as long as we make certain we have that taken care of, we'll have more astronomy stuff for our Sky Blog 3 posted over the course of the next several days and weeks via our video licious program that we're running here. And more details to follow at wrhg.com slash weather. Don't forget to tune in for a complete forecast update on my video blog, Weather Overtime, that's coming up a little bit later again at wrhg.com. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with the latest astronomical happenings around the mid. South. Stay tuned for more and remember, keep looking up.